All right, guys, what's going on? Uh, another PSP video for you. Uh, I'm on Custom Firmware 660 Pro B10, as you can see, with the Pro C modulation installation, fucking SC plug and things with the public beta installed on the fucking thing. Yeah. Anyways, so, um, and excuse that malware bytes thing. I'm downloading something for a video that I'm going to be making on how to emulate the Mac OS X Lion 10.7 point whatever the fucks after that on Windows 7. So that's going to be cool. Um, but anyways, um, yeah, so this is the uh, release of the ME Custom Firmware Time Machine. Now, if you remember back in the M33 days, there was the Time Machine app thing to go back and forth to firmwares and downgrade and upgrade and things like that. Well, this is the same fucking thing. So, let's get to installing it, shall we? So, first things first is I'm going to have you be downloading this file here, the release ME time machine. So, once you download that, double click on that and open that up. Goody, 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 goody. And you're just going to see a release folder. Open that up, you're going to see the time machine add-on. Open that up, you're going to see the PSP decrypt.prx, the library PSR dumper thing, um, and the eboot. So, go back. Time Machine add on, you're going to be looking at that folder. So, take your PSP. And in this case, I have a Go. So, this actually might be the doorway to a downgrade for the PSP Go as well. So, keep that in mind. But, anyways, so. Go back, and I'm just going to enter USB mode real quick. Entering USB. Closing this stupid message that comes up every fucking time, because apparently it's like, yo, your PSP's corrupt, but yet it's right here. I don't get that. Anyways, so, open up your PSP. Prefer the HDD, because if you got a memory stick and ISOs that don't happen to work on the HDD, they will work on the memory stick, so remember that. I don't know why, it just does. So, PSP folder, then after that, and then go to the PSP game folder. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to drag and drop this Time Machine add-on folder into the PSP game folder. So, allow that to copy over. It takes about a millisecond. Once you've done that, double-click on that and open it up, and make sure everything is in there, including the eboot, the library, PSR, dumper, .prx, and the PSP decrypt, .prx, which are SC plugins that run with the program. Exit that out. You can exit your extraction files now, and now I'm going to exit USB mode. Let me reset my VSH really quick so you can see what the fuck's going on. Dun, 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 dun. Alrighty, now let's plug this in so you can see what the hell's going on. System storage, and you're going to scroll down and you're going to see this fucking thing right here. Time Machine add-on. Start that up. Now, I'm not necessarily going to use this because I don't want to blow up my PSP Go. So, if you do anything with this with your PSP Go, I am not responsible for anything that you fucking do to your system. So, don't cry to me when your system breaks. Alright? Um, but, this is mainly used for, you know, PSP 1000 and 2000s. Anyways, let's take a look at this. Alright, looking at it now. Install IPL loader on memory stick boot sector. And then you got uh, the install... Um, 660ME uh, for 1G or 2G model, which is the PSP 1000 and 2000 models. Um, IPL loader on MS boot sector. I don't know what the fuck that is. So basically, you can see that this is only for PSP 1000 and 2000 models. Do not use it on a 3000. But this is what it looks like. So that's how you install it. And if I had a PSP 1000 or 2000, I would do this for you. But I don't because I sold it because I needed the money for car insurance. Switching to Geico does not help. Anyways, so yeah, that's the time machine. So I'm going to exit that now. Come back to my XMB. Voila. So yeah, that's how you install the time machine. Uh, for your PSP 1000 or 2000 for flashing firmware 6.60 Pro or, or ME back to fucking Nyoka, wherever the fuck it came from. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, so thanks for watching. I hope this helps you in whatever way that you see fit to yourself. Alright, comment, subscribe to my channel. Also, be sure to leave your comments on my channel in the feed section for your questions answered. Which I gotta make that video tonight. So I'm gonna be making it.
and it'll be up by tomorrow, as long as all of these other fucking videos that I'm making right now, which I don't even understand why, but yeah, um, check out my website, softwarereborn.com, you will see the links in the bottom over there, and you'll see the embedded is softwarereborn.com, go check that out, a lot of other cool stuff there, and if you want, you can donate to that website, because it costs money to keep it running, and uh, my Twitter, at death 333 Follow me on that, because everything I do goes on my Twitter. So if you follow Twitter, you won't be left behind. All right, so take it easy, and I'll talk to you guys later.